Good morning. It is Sunday, May 22nd, 2022, and it's almost 11 a.m. in Geneva, Switzerland. Uh, it's very late on the um, east coast of the United States, but um, for now I'm keeping um, Geneva, Switzerland time. to say um, Bennett Schiller I received your letter today concerning Todd McDaniels first thing I want to say about Todd McDaniels is the reason McDaniel is the reason that he joined that he was recruited by this um, Rico criminal enterprise is because of his name um, and, and later I was threatened with, um, well, actually I've been threatened for many, many, many years about standing up. Um, and that means standing up to a bunch of really small men in, in, in big hats that they don't deserve. So um, anyway, I'll, I'll get back to that in a minute. But um, I'm confirming receipt of your letter. Mr. Um, Schiller, your cease and desist demand letter for Todd McDaniel. And let me just say, your stern, macho, he-man demeanor did indeed astound me. I'm terrified, intimidated, and I spent all day crying in the corner about it. I tried to score some Xanax off the street, but Todd McDaniel's Rico Criminal Enterprise only offers Taliban sugar smack heroin and cocaine. But the good news is they do deliver to my home within 500 feet of 1,300 high school children at Buford High School. And they have no fear whatsoever of, of any sort of intervention or meddling by Buford County Sheriff's Department. As far as Todd's moral turpitude, an allegation solely of that nature is very vague. And as I always say, one of my favorite songs by Blue Rooster Cult is Don't Fear the Rico. But, Bennett, why don't you review the federal Rico statutes for tampering, threatening, co coercing, and attempting to murder federal Rico witnesses? Also, COVID-19, bioterrorism, genocide, over six million innocent human beings and heroin and cocaine distribution and attempts to murder a federal RICO witness in a drug-free school zone, especially when that victim witness is handicapped with cerebral palsy, mentally ill because of Todd's RICO ring, and extremely gu gullible. Well, I tell you what, let's all meet up at the courthouse of your choice. So Todd McDaniel can attempt to take what little money I have so I can take the witness stand and testify under oath about all of Todd's criminal enterprises, human rights violations, and my over 30 years of victim impact. Now, if you still feel that trying to take my meager pennies when Todd McDaniel is attempting to take our lives and all of your threats are going to even slightly affect me fighting for my son's life, subpoena me. And all, although your advice of me getting a, a lawyer is, is so noted, rest assured, I've got this. All you want, come get some. First, concerning your, Todd McDaniel, concerning your felony record in Kentucky for being a child molester, you can thank the feds for that. Someone connected to my BCI neural implant told me to Google you, and I found you on the Kentucky Center Registry. I asked Pentagon da the General David Alvin. This is David Alvin. That's me. And that's Jeff. He's a neurologist and he's on this um, on this task force. And um, after we get finished in Geneva, Switzerland, we were talking about maybe going over to France to see all the parasites. And um, then we're going to be married to three of us in Kenya. Anyway, this is really none of your business. Um, let's see. I asked Pentagon General David Alvin, Vice Chief of the uh, 
United States Air Force. And um, he, he looked at the sex offender registry in Kentucky and he confirmed the, same, the very same thing on the Pentagon computer system. So once again, if, if it's incorrect, you can thank the feds that y'all are um, conspiring with for that. And um, also please note that it was General Alvin who told me your wife, Whitney, is a post-operative transgender, not me. So if you would like to discuss this with General Alvin, his office number is 703-695-7911 at the Pentagon, or call United States Secret Service Director Jim Murray at 202-406-5708. Also, if you would like to go ahead and subpoena General David Alvin, to court, he would be happy to come, especially considering this crime recently threatened his son's life too. Clayton said that his uncle Sherwood said that Todd has a brother named Mel. And well, this is Mel McDaniel, who's in the, uh, sings the song, Stand Up, that, that um, you'll hear in a minute. I thought the Berkshire Hathaway name might be related to Miss Jane Hathaway, uh, Mr. Milton Drysdale's secretary. Um, the one that Jeff Rode Bodine um, was always so hot for. But then I thought, no, you know, the Clampets actually made their money honest. They got really lucky and honest. I'm supposing when the crime ring recruited the McDaniels, they failed to mention our BCI neural implants and that all audio and video and all transmissions to and from these implants are monitored at all times, transmitted via non-DOG satellites, and stored securely and remotely on secure servers in multiple undisclosed locations. So keep smiling, your own candid camera. So far, this task force has, um, has about 10 years of recording and good solid evidence on Todd's criminal enterprise. And this song is by uh, Todd's brother, well, according to Sherwood Fender, Todd's brother, Mel. One of those can't wait, things go a little too far In the middle of a good night, have you ever died Riding the back seat of that car? Said stand up, have you ever been in there? Stand up, identify, stand up, tell us all about it Stand up, testify Never met a woman, late night roaming, telling her the money was gone. A smiling Mona Lisa, loaded up your visa, and took the bartender home. Said, stand up, have you ever been there? Stand up, identify, stand up, tell us all about it, stand up, testify. Man, do it just for me, man. Do just what to do. Thought I was a hero. She rated me as hero. Said, honey, child, you ain't through. Said, stand up. Tell us everything. Stand up. Identify. Stand up. Tell us all about it. Stand up. Testify. <laughs> Stand up, identify, stand up, testify, stand up, identify, stand up, tell us all about it, stand up, 
God. I look forward to seeing y'all in court.